was very lucky. I bought these actually on eBay for 40 bucks. They're a Euro size 44. You can probably just read that. And it was just my perfect foot size. Now I've taken the liner out. Now why am I showing you a dirty old shoe? It's probably eight years old and it got five or six thousand Ks on it. It's because the little toes come apart. So I'm going to try a repair. I've read lots of forums talking about marine grade 5000 adhesive. Um, I'm going to go for something that I already had, which is good old Sikaflex roof and gutter sealant. And what I'm going to do is I've done this one already. I am going to, or what I have done, is run a crap load of silicon around the inside of that. I'm going to put a slide a little block inside the toe up there so that I can, you can kind of see that poking through so that I can clamp that down hard and then what I'm going to do is to grab some self tappers because I know that the inside of the plastic like all cycling shoes is about six or seven mil thick so the idea is is that the self tapper goes through the outside when the glue has gone off and then it'll it'll uh, screw through into the base um, and and because and because the blocks in there, it means that the toe won't deflect uh, too much. Because of course you've got to. And and the great thing is these don't flex too much. Um, the whole shoe, of course, because you've got a hard base. So I'll um I'll do this one. I'm going to clamp this one, and when the silicon's gone off, then I'm going to screw it. And I'm going to screw it uh, afterwards because I don't want the screw to be part of the adhesive process. I just want the screw to hold that in place. Um, when it's under load on the bicycle. All right, so I've got my little bit of uh, sort of my toe insertion piece that actually cracked when I put it in, but who cares? Um, anyway, so I've also got a range of screws here uh, that I'm going to try. These are have had the air, have the had the ends cut off, um, so I don't know if they'll be any good. Anyway, that's the gaping more of one. This one has already been done and it's looking pretty good so I'll give that I reckon three days um, now the benefit of having SPDs is that it's the same on my road bike or on my mountain bike so the trick is I've dried these in the oven at 50 degrees for uh, 45 minutes I've had them in the sun for a day and a half and now I'm just going to basically put a gut load of silicon in here. I don't really want to put it around that hole in the middle that you can see for the obvious reason that I don't want to actually get it inside the shoe. So I want to run that around the rim. It's a bit messy because I'm kind of not very good at this, but it's silicon. It's meant to be messy. And the thing is, what I want to actually do is create a bit of a waterproof lip seal. Yes, that was me, the duck. So, it's as simple as that. So squeeze that down, I reckon that'll be pretty good. Put my little artificial toe in, so it goes together like that. I'm just going to slide that in, pull the tongue out, bleh, and I can feel that right all the way in. And now I'm going to get some heavy duty clamps and I'm going to clamp the crap out of it. There we go. Look at that. Scotty, it just might whack. Now, does it really matter if I make a mess? Not really. Um, but I would like to try and salvage them. They are worth, you know, 200 bucks if I've got to sever my hip pocket nerve and buy a new pair. So I'm also going to just run a tiny bit just along here. Now, of course, I can't fast forward six months in the future and tell you if this holds, but I will be able to at least have an idea in a week or two. Pretty happy with that and see how we go. Now it is going to take, I think the rule of thumb for silicon is something like, I don't know, um, 
a couple of millimeters every 24 hours drying time it's pretty slow so I am gonna leave that for probably a week because it's got this is the morning after the night before so the silicon has pretty much gone off which is great news take those clamps off um, pull out my little pugs from the nose of each shoe Come on. Oh, this one's got a little bit of silicon that's wicked through to the bottom you can just see that there but that's all right um, so this looks really really good actually I'm trying to do this one-handed looks really good but um, and that's all dry but I'm still going to put some screws in the bottom and just in case you're wondering this is um, Sika which is a very very high quality brand a translucent uh, Sika seal so you can buy higher grades of uh, or stronger grades of Sika Flex uh, sealant but I just happened to have this one lying around and I thought well these sho shoes are probably 8 or 9 years old it, as I think I said they've done five or 6,000 Ks so I've really got very little to lose so I've started off with, um, with a screw here so it's about 15 mil long and I'm just going to put my finger uh, my hand in under underneath so that when I screw through I can feel if it's going to protrude through because obviously that would be mighty unpleasant so just trying to feel with my finger can't feel a tip pushing through that pretty hard I've just found it a little bit easier just to use a tiny little uh, pilot there we go that's just enough to punch through the rubber but not through the plastic below Alright, so, one, two, three, four, fully siliconed up, so the very last stage is just to slip the, the tongue in, make sure I can't feel any protrusions on the inside, feels pretty good, and I reckon that is a winner, and that's cost me about 15 minutes and about 10 cents worth of silicon, so that gets me another 12 months, happy days. I think it's time, as they say, for the moment of truth. Take these bad boys out, give them a bit of a road test. Now, just as a wrap up, I've just this weekend finished a 70 kilometer incredibly grueling bash uh, through the bush. Um, and the bike or the shoes in particular have held up absolutely perfectly so absolutely thrilled with that repair so I'm just doing a bit of a wash but you know, my screws crucially completely watertight uh, riding through a lot of mud a, a fair bit of water uh, one complete immersive creek crossing and absolutely perfect so that's a good way of getting out of a shoe repair